I'm not a doctor. If you try this drink out or methodology, it's at your own risk and discretion. Hey, so I got sick going into Christmas this year, the Tuesday before to the Sunday after, but I had a gig and you know, I'm so vigilant when I get sick. I just make sure that like, I'm not talking, I'm taking a ton of vitamins. I'm sleeping like 10 hours a day, uh, do steaming in the shower, like everything I can possibly do. My breath exercises, the Wim Hof method. I, I don't do the cold showers so intensely when I actually like already got sick. I do it leading into it to try to help prevent it. But once I am, I'm like, okay, my body needs to conserve its energy. So anyways, I had a gig on the Monday and I'm like, I feel better. So I went for it the first night though, it was just rough of singing again. And so Monday night I come home, I heard pineapple juice is good for your voice when you sang, but I kind of thought like, what's pineapple juice gonna do? That sounds like an urban legend or something. But then I saw just a ton of people talking about it. And I found out it's cause it makes your uh, mouth salivate. And that's the thing that actually protects your voice. So Tuesday, another gig, I bring a big old thing of pineapple juice to my gig and I brought this honey because uh, I also knew that that helped. And I found out the honey actually is kind of making your mouth salivate too, as well as coating it. But anyway, so I play the gig, it helps, but I'm, ch I'm pounding the pineapple juice. I'm thinking it's not quite doing it enough and uh, it's just going down too quick. The honey I started to do for a little bit after, but I'm still just like, yeah, but it's just almost too sugary. And so that gig, it was a lot better. Uh, it helped a ton, both of those things certainly did. Uh, water actually just kind of strips your throat of the stuff that's gonna protect it. So it's like the natural saliva is actually what you want to have. Like if you ever get nervous and you're about to give a speech and your mouth dries up, Water like almost doesn't help. It helps while the water's in your mouth, but after it's drank, it's like desert. So yes, I highly recommend the pineapple juice, but what I want to tell you is that because I got, you know, Brent's favorite Bev's as a playlist on YouTube, I make my own concoctions. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do my own thing here. This is my favorite honey, and it comes in like a buttery form. So it's like that, it ain't gonna, it's not even gonna ever, I guess it would leak out like as slow as glass, you know, but it's straight up. It ain't gonna come out. It's scoopable, it's like butter. So I did in proportions, one third cup of hot water. I know it's gonna sound ridiculous, but literally two tablespoons of honey diluted into the hot water and then stirred up and then the pineapple juice on top. I have an organic pineapple juice. It's very delicious. It says it's just pineapple, uh, so that's good. So I get those to the one cup, and I happen to have this sweet vial. This is one cup, and I put it in here, the two, the pineapple and the honey that was melted, and I shook them together, brought it to the show, and it was like a liqueur. So it didn't make me want to drink it very fast. Like it was like, ooh, that's super sweet. It wasn't sour, super sweet though. And like my mouth just like wet. And I'm gonna tell you what, uh, it was almost like any vocal fatigue I had or I thought I had before, it was gone. It was 100% gone. So you almost have like a thick honey water. So it's not like you're chomping down honey or you're like syruping down honey. It's like, it's just a better way I found. And I was able to sip on the one cup of substance through the whole show. And by the end of it, I'm just like, this is something I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I understand if you have sugar sensitivities or if you're worried about gaining weight or something like that but once in a while you gotta bust out you know the heavy hitters i think this is one of those things where it's gonna save me a lot of times in the future and i think this will help a lot of friends too so i wanted to make this video just, just to show you anyways i'm gonna make a mini cup i just want a little taste of this right now i don't want to go too hardcore i'm gonna do that much right now I'd honestly, I'd still go more honey. I'd still go more honey in there. 
that's what you wanted to look like just some straight up honey water dude or do that and then well i gotta add about two thirds of what that looks like pineapple juice and that's about what we're dealing with now for me personally it isn't enough to just put them together i think whatever you do you should shake them I just happen to have this cutesy, cutesy bootsy with me. Uh, it's a little mason jar. Works particularly well for mixed drinks. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Look at that. It's like a like a mead almost. So I swear to goodness, the hydrative angels have awoken in my mouth. <laughs> Massive game changer. All right, y'all. Thank you. Please hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll catch you in the next vid.